Welcome to Lesson 16. Subject, pronouns, and nouns using be verbs with present continuous verbs. Start over here with subject, pronouns, and nouns. The pronouns I am starting with are I, you, we, they. The nouns that I have chosen are a noun being a person, place, or thing. The nouns I am starting with are two people, Pedro and Kim. Place, parts, S, more than one. And cats, also with an S, more than one cat. The B verbs are am and are. Now, the, all of the B verbs would be am, is, are, past, was, were, future, will be. Uh, am you always use with I. I am. Uh, you, we, they, you use the B verb are. For more than one noun, a noun meaning more than one, like two or more people, or two or more places, two or more things, also you use are. Okay, let's look at the present continuous verbs. The present continuous form of verbs is used for something that is unfinished or incomplete. Uh, I am learning. I haven't finished learning. I am still learning. It is incomplete, as an example. Present continuous means they have ing on the ending of them. Now, ing, present, present continuous means that it is something that is ongoing. It could be ongoing for one second. It could be ongoing for a hundred years. Uh, it depends on the context, on the situation. Okay. Um, for example, if I said, I am bringing, that means I, uh, I will go, I am going through the process of taking something with me from point A to point B. If I said I was bringing, then that's talking about the past, the past. If I said I will be bringing, that means it is something I plan on doing in the future. Uh, a good way to remember if you should put ing on the end of a verb is by realizing how many verbs you have. If you have two verbs, the second one is ing. Um, for example, let me let me give you some examples uh, down here where there's room to write. Um, uh, I keep. Okay, good sentence. I keep. If I put a, a verb like am, I am. I have to put ing, K-E-E-P-I-N-G, I am keeping. Uh, let's say I talk about you. Uh, you You study. 
Okay. But if I put another verb in there, you are studying. You are studying. Okay. I keep, keep is a verb. Am is a verb. Keeping, verb. Study is a verb. Are is a verb. Studying is a verb. So if I have two verbs, the second one has ing. Okay? Now, it doesn't have to be a be verb. Uh, the common uh, verbs used uh, are be verbs, but it doesn't have to be. For instance, uh, if I say, uh, we like uh, we like uh, let's say dancing and singing. Okay? So we have the verb like so the next verb, dance, has ing because it's the second verb. Then the third verb, ha verb has ing. So like is a verb, dancing is a verb, singing is a verb. After the first one, we put ing on the next verb. Okay? Um, I'll give you another example. Uh, they, no, let's use a, uh, people, uh, John and, uh, uh, boy, let me see, John and Carl uh, text while walking. Okay. So we got these people. They text. That's a verb. When do they text? While walking. Also a verb. So the verse, the first verb, no ing. Second verb, ing. So whenever you have two verbs, the second one is ing. Okay. Now go back up here to the top. So. Any verb you want to use with a as, as a second verb, you put ing. Example: I am arriving. I am cooling. I am needing. I am studying. Uh, you are hearing. You are finding. You are going. We are making. We are coming. They are providing. They are helping. Pedro and Kim are sitting. Pedro and Kim are walking. Uh, parts are uh, providing. Um, cats are using. Okay. Verb, verb, next verb, ing. Now, another thing about the, 
This also happens when you are making questions. If you put the verb first, you are making a question. Uh, here I have, I am arriving. But here if I say, am I arriving? Question. Am I finding? Or the R with uh, you, we, they, two or more per, uh, people, places, or things. Are we learning? Are they sitting? No, they're standing. Are Pedro and Kim studying? Are parts providing? Are cats eating? So that makes a question. Okay. If the verb is first, you make a question. You can create your own sentences. I wish you would. Uh, take a sheet of paper and write your own sentences uh, without ing, then change them to have ing, uh, like I did uh, in this uh, lesson. I'll give you an example. Uh, you can select some of the verbs, like uh, this here. Have, drive, hear, talk, provide, study, come. And then create the sentences using ing. Okay. For instance, we are having fun. Whatever you want to do for a sentence. But practice using uh, verbs with ing and without ing. Uh, I hope this was helpful. You can read, uh, look at this as many times as you need. Uh, I hope you have a, a good day and see you on lesson 17.